In this video, we're gonna be talking about joint compound and what your mud consistency should look like specifically for the automatic taper. So the first thing we wanna mention is that you should never use setting compounds or hot muds as they're often referred to in the industry in any automatic taping tool. So what is a setting compound or hot mud? Well, it's something that has a set drying time. It's a chemical dry. So we're talking like popular brands like Durabond, Sheetrock, Easy Sand, Light Sand, and they oftentimes have a number like Durabond 90, 45, 20. We never wanna use any of those products in automatic taping tools. You wanna to use joint compounds specifically. On our jobs, we like to use CGC or USG lightweight taping mud for applying our tapes. You don't wanna use a finishing compound because it doesn't have enough glue. Anytime you're applying tape or a corner bead to the wall, you wanna use something that has glue. If you can, you wanna use a taping mud specifically or at the very least an all-purpose joint compound. Now let's talk about mud consistency. One of the biggest issues that people have when they're first learning about automatic taping tools, especially if you're coming from a hand taping background and you've never used anything like a banjo or semi-automatic taping tools, one of the biggest problems people encounter is your mud is way too thick. Anytime you're using any of these tools that you see behind me, mud consistency is always key. When you're using your automatic taper, you wanna make sure that your mud is fairly thin. You almost want like a pancake batter like consistency. You want to mix it a little thinner for your angles than you do your flats and your butt joints. That way you have less drag. If you're experiencing too much drag in your tape, odds are your mud is way too thick. So thin it down to something like this and you'll have no issues at all. So I hope this quick overview helped. If you have any other questions that we may not have answered, check out our other educational videos with level five tools.